Sponsored by ExpressVPN. Give them money, they'll give me freedom. Very few things upset me in this life. I try to be patient. I try to be understanding with people. I'm sure a lot of us do. But when YouTube decides to promote low effort trend and news videos instead of content that I put more work into, then I have no choice but to sell my lovable soul right down the river until it ends up in the ad-friendly heaven of trend-based content. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And what's there to talk about today? Why am I doing this to myself? All these answers and more as we look today at the new Pog Champ, it's Komodo hype. Spoiler. Welcome back to the channel, new and returning, young and old, fans, haters, everyone in between. Really, just if you don't hurt people and you're not a J Station subscriber, you're welcome here. In fact, why not subscribe to me? It's quick. It's easy. It just takes a second, and you can always undo it. But it really does help out a lot. So. Thank you. But what exactly is a pog champ? It's you. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, but for those uninformed, pog champ used to be an emote on the website twitch.tv. Twitch.tv, as many of you know, is a streaming platform owned by Lord Regent Jeff Bezos and is no stranger to drama or controversy. When you're a website like Twitch that hosts as many streamers and viewers at one time, Something's bound to happen. But as a major entertainment forefront, what happens on Twitch is important to not only YouTube, but the internet as a whole. So it mattered a lot when Twitch removed the popular emote PogChamp. PogChamp was normally used to describe a moment of celebration. However, earlier in January, Twitch deleted the PogChamp emote after the person depicted in the image encouraged some controversial opinions to say the least. I'm doing my best to not put a name to the face of the person because I don't want to spread any more of their agenda. If you want to find them, hey, Google's right there. But losing an emote that's been around that long, I mean, the original image was pulled from a video from 2010. This definitely had an impact on Twitch's 26 and a half million average daily visitors. And that number has probably even grown in the time that this article I'm reading has been written. I should probably also mention that before all of this, Twitch had a constant rotating system where they would pick a new pog champ every 24 hours. That worked out great. They ended up giving a platform to a few controversial streamers, and lo and behold, Twitch continues to be as smart as a bag of animal crackers. After long deliberation, Twitch posted a video declaring the new pog champ. Let's take a look at that really quick. Why are they using the display from the DeLorean in Back to the Future? What is this unholy Teletubbies reject machine I'm looking at? I love this whole like aesthetic that they're going for. The whole video looks like some Nexpo B-roll footage. Alright, cool video, cool aesthetic. So where's the policy changes and things that affect streamers? Oh. Oh my god, I didn't see it coming. I definitely didn't get spoiled by the replies. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit! Woo! Yeah! Why am I making this video? This is torture! Fuck! Ah! But I do think it's important that you guys get this stuff so that you can form an opinion. So let's take a look at what we got. Someone says, spot the difference. Difficulty, impossible because they are the same picture. Oh, there's a clear difference. No, 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 one has a clearly defined white eyeball. The other one had his soul snatched by hellhounds from zombies. Wait, isn't this the same person? The older and better pog champ. It reminds me of that Ryan Higa video where he's wearing like the troll masks in real life. God, I am old. I am a corpse. What the fuck? Someone says, this is super disappointing. You had a system that was driven by the community that people liked, and you chose to ditch that completely for what exactly? Save five minutes of change over each day? I know I'm not the only one who feels this. Someone says, wow, you guys put more effort into that video than you do moderating your site. Whew! 
daring today, aren't we? <laughs> Can't really argue with that one. <laughs> Think about it. Twitch displays more direction in their press and these little bite-sized videos than they do with so many quality of life things for streamers, especially with the way they handle copyright. Someone asks, like, I'm actually asking, wasn't this already another global emote or am I misremembering that? I'm a bit disappointed that you chose to abandon a program that could foster some celebration of the different communities that make up Twitch on a whole. Also, apparently, uh, at the launch of this change, which is happening as I'm making this video, Komodo Hype is still active as a global emote, meaning PogChamp and Komodo Hype are identical active global emotes. Well, you know what I mean, nearly identical. To be fair, again, it's Twitch. I don't know what we expected. Uh, U2s says it looks good. Thanks, U2s. Um, when are we gonna get the hotbox, U2s? By the way, my DMs are open. You can hit me up anytime. Someone says, Tuff is this. He's not even doing the pog face. It's just some dinosaur opening its mouth. Dinosaur? I'm sorry? I'll find one of these beasts one day, and I will tame it and name it Ferguson. I probably shouldn't do that. They literally drool venom. Someone says, I like the lizard face, but this is not pog. You can't just come in and arbitrate a new pog champ as our lord and savior, Amazon. PogChamp is PogChamp because it started out as a grassroots community meme. It cannot just be replaced on a whim, especially by a corporate entity. I mean, come on. You can't force a meme. Well, all the time. Let me put that another way. You can't force a meme and make it last. Things hang on because communities feel an attachment to them. And if you're part of the community that doesn't like this, then hey, I can't stop you. Please feel free to speak up. I really do want to hear what people think about this in the comments. This is just something very interesting to me. Little things like this, you know, we call them small things, but they're heavy in their own way. Aw oh man, that was some Hideo Kojima dialogue. I'm fragile, but I'm not that fragile. <laughs> <laughs> I think, at the end of the day, whatever you're feeling about this, you're within your right, and make yourself heard. Discussion around things like these is important, believe it or not. And as much as I might hate myself for making this video and trend-based content, I have to admit, it does have its merits. Thank you for coming with me on this tiny catharsis, and for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like and share it around. Let me know what you want to hear about next, and whenever you're watching this, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and an even better tomorrow. I love you. And before you say it back, look in the mirror and say it to yourself. I will see you in the next episode of Whatever I Make. And until next time, this has been The Hotbox. Bye. So all I have to do is grab your system, grab an air horn, bring it close. <laughs>